Good morning, everyone. It is Pastor Ann, and I want to wish you on this Easter Monday, Happy Easter. I hope that you had a wonderful Easter Sunday and that you are able to join us online for our worship service. I had a special message for the children. Rowan and Lena joined me and we unburied the Alleluia banner and were able to say together, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Well, today on Easter Monday, I just wanted to open the very last egg. We've been looking at our nesting eggs and then going through them and we have come to the very end. And so I wanted to review that last chapter um, so that we could see uh, what this story is. You hear my dog's bell and on my porch um, and they are seeing some other little dogs. Lots of fun little pictures coming to the end. We had the cross on Good Friday. And here we go with the last one. What does this look like to you? It's a color gray if you can't tell. Okay, listen to these words and we'll look at that egg again in a minute and open it up. As the new day was dawning, again, this is I'm reading from the story Easter story egg book. Okay, as the new day was dawning, the trees began to sway. An angel of the Lord appeared and rolled the stone away. Friends went to visit his tomb. They brought burial spices of plenty. And when they arrived at the cave, they discovered his grave was empty. When his friends entered the tomb, they found burial cloths of linen. He had done just as he had promised. Yes, Jesus had risen. Let this empty egg. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. And if you watch the children's sermon yesterday, it's a little bit of a spoiler. There's nothing in it. Let this empty egg remind you of the tomb that was found bare. Although his body is gone, he can be found everywhere. Jesus is in the blooming flowers and the emerging butterflies. He is in each and every raindrop and the clouds up in the sky. Easter is Jesus raised from the dead. He is our hope and joy, our life's daily bread. Jesus arose from the grave, to him be glorified, for Jesus has risen. Yes, Jesus is alive. There's some pretty pictures. And we get to say together again that word that means praise God. Alleluia, alleluia. Because this is the rock in front of the tomb. Holy Saturday, we saw that rock, but then on Easter Sunday, it is empty. So we celebrate, and I hope you're able to keep celebrating today. I know many of us are back doing online school today, and maybe you can just take a break and listen to this story and just be reminded that we continue to celebrate Easter and celebrate that Jesus is alive. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day.